Should old acquaintance be forgot and ne'er brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and awed laying sign? I was hello, gonna hello. You know, you started that way too low. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good rendition of On Wisconsin, so I love exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Eddie, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you, old man? Um, I'm, I'm almost moderately okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm working so, today. So for those of you who have only subscribed in the last couple months since the pandemic, you were probably expecting Erica. Hey, I'm not. No, no, he's not. But this is the old man. He was the he was the original original guy on this. But right. it's been a little hard to shoot episodes since the, the drunken duo from way back. You know? Yeah, it's been a little hard to shoot episodes with you since since COVID started. So yeah, we were the Rat Cut Review before it was the Rat Cut Review. It but sure was. I'm half as cute and half as intelligent, so I should be able to hold my own for about <laughs> half the show. So. <laughs> So, yeah, but welcome everyone. This is our fun, this is going to be a fun little, I was thinking this, this is kind of our pregame for Bourbon Bites, um, Bourbon Bites stream. So his is going to be the main show. Also, he's here. Check Sweet. it out. So his, his is going on at uh, nine o'clock, I believe, Oof. nine o'clock our time. So if, if you're not subscribed to Bourbon Bites, that is going to be the main Whiskey Tube show for the evening. That's going to be the big guy. So we're just doing a little pregame for his show. We're the warm-up band. We're the, we're the warm-up act. We had, <laughs> and that's funny you say that because Cass Trank said they were the warm-up act for us. We're the warm-up act for Bourbon Bites. There exactly. we go. Um, let's see who's all in the chat we got a lot of people already the uh jen ardolino thanks so much for stopping by the roop my main man the roop uh live in under three minutes the only countdown that counts thank you dude uh emily chambers awesome to see you kilco good to see you peter white thank you for stopping by steve a our batman my man steve a good to see you gary white uh what are you going to pour gary white i'd love to know Greg T. Stagg, thank you for coming over from uh, Cast Strength. Floyd, what's going on? Does my thumbnail look suggestive? I feel like my whole life is suggestive, to be fair. Uh, Mike Lizak from over at Whiskey Den. Go show them some love. Uh, Beth Higgins, hey, how you doing? Rotten New Year. Cohen, every, man, everybody's here. Everybody's here. If I, if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, but that, good to see all of you. But that's the end of the show. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, right. <laughs> Get, um, you know, if you oh, read through everybody in two years, it'll take the entire hour. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, Robert Rees is here. Nick, uh, Adriana, good to see you. Patrick, Steve Connor, Scott Kravitz, good to see you. T Squared, Christina, thank you so much for stopping by, the, the head of the cult. All right, I think that's everybody. I have think I that's seen, everybody. Have I seen Mitch? Oh. Oh, and Wheels. Good to see you, Wheels. Okay. We got everybody for the time being. We'll, we'll say hello as we go by. Oh, and Bubble Bath. Bubble Bath's in somewhere. I missed him. I'm sorry. All right. So, it's the end of 2020. What is everyone drinking tonight? Pop, well, what, what are you drinking? I'll go first. I've got this no-name brand. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> It comes in a very cute bottle, though, which I uh, thought was lovely. And it's uh, one of my favorites, and you should be able to guess that. Whoa! Whoa! What? Motherfucker! That almost sucked my eye out! God damn! <laughs> what is that? That was that was this Rotor Estate Brute. Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah, you got to point those... I started pulling it up. I started pulling it up while you were talking, and that thing popped! God you, damn, you, I think they hit the ceiling. They hit your cheek first, I think. Woo! All right. Well, that was fun. You got to point <laughs> those things away from you. Anyway. I think I set up the smoke alarm somehow. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, anyway, go ahead. Go anyway, ahead. Anyway, one of my favorites 
it's peated, it's oaky, it's not green, it's not super, you know, aged where it's all refined and stuff. It's uh, solid bodied and it comes from Oregon. And you're going to say? McCarthy's. It's McCarthy's. <laughs> it is McCarthy's. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, oh. it's, a, it's a good go-to. I love that it. is a good go-to. I tell you what I'm going to be drinking. I am making myself a little golden dram right quick. Ooh. Yeah. So Golden Dram is the champagne that nearly killed me. Or I guess this is sparkling wine. It's Rutter Estate. It's from Anderson Valley. I don't think they can legally call it champagne. It's a sugar cube champagne because it's New Year's Eve, of course. Uh, some Angostura bitters. Oh, yeah. Because that's classic. And I'll do a couple dashes of those. And of course, the main thing, the main thing is some scotch whiskey. I don't, what should I do for scotch? I think I'm going to do some Kilhoman. I think I'm going to do some Kilhoman. That seems like a, that seems like a, a safe, a safe thing. Oh yeah, very safe bet. Yeah. And then we'll top it off. So yeah, this is, this is my New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve cocktail Yeesh. there okay. we go now I, I gotta ask since i'm on the show where is erica she she actually i was hoping she would be back by now but okay. she's actually over at someone who's in our bubble bubble our little pod she's over uh, there spending some time with them for new year's eve so hopefully she'll be back by the time bourbon bites is live and you're here uh, drinking alone and well, i'm here I, drinking alone well i'm I with mean, you i'm with yeah. you it okay fair yeah. enough yeah <laughs> And with our very special guest for the evening, the wonderful, the erudite, the beautiful, Brad LeClaire. Brad! Erudite. Wow. It's okay. a three, three, three dollar word. Yeah, I can't even. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I did get all fancied up for the evening. But, That's a sweet uh, t-shirt. Erudite. <laughs> so, yeah. That's true. So, hey, guys. How you, how you doing? I'm We're, doing pretty well. We're hanging. Eddie just about um, took his eye out with some champagne. Adriana says it's a good thing Erica wasn't making this for me. Yes, it'd be 50% Lamar and 50% Buffalo sure. Trace. <laughs> Those Advent videos were pretty funny, though. I will, I will say. She tortured you real good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, she had, she had fun with it. Yeah, no, I did. I don't know how I did it, but it's chirping now. The goddamn... The goddamn smoke detector is chirping now after I after I shot that cork. I don't know if I hit it or what. Probably. <laughs> but it's you chirping it. at me. You broke it with the cork. Probably. Yeah, uh, could, could very well be. Oh. So, yeah. Mm. What didn't Eddie drink last year? You know, I oh like to drink God. as much as the next guy, but, you know, I pale in comparison to what Eddie will put in his mouth. <laughs> I, ha I had some nasty shit this year. It is Oh, my true. God. Yeah. Yeah, I so think don't, I, I don't torture myself like Ed does, so I don't know how he. Yeah, it's it's painful to watch. All. No. <laughs> uh, oh, Robert, that's fair, but I feel like that's a super chat kind of thing. I feel like that that that's like that's at least like a I don't know what would that be. I, I, Erica would tell me that's like a that's like a two hundred dollar super chat goal. I'll go one hundred twenty. That's like a hundred twenty super chat goal. <laughs> So, Brad, mm. what's going on up in Canada? Uh, same thing going on everywhere. Uh, nothing. I'm going to go, turn, closed. This, I'm going to go <laughs> turn this alarm off. Sorry. Excuse well, me. This thing's going to bother me. Everything is shut down pretty much. Sure. Uh, you know, time is meaningless. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you know. It's, You're it's keeping fine. yourself busy. You're looking good. Keep, keeping busy. The, the kid keeps me quiet. Oh, yeah. Busy. I forgot. Right. But I, I mean, it's good, which is a weird thing to say uh, in the current situation. But right, well, you know, you get a, a lot of, a lot of hanging out at home, playing video games with the kid. It could be a lot worse. Oh yeah, no, that sounds pretty He's nice. He's finally right? getting into games, so oh, that's so, exciting. <laughs> playing a lot of Mario Kart and stuff like that. So. Sure, I know. I saw I saw a Facebook post about him being into speed running, like speed running Mario oh. Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah, he's learning like all the weird glitches and stuff. It's pretty funny to watch. Oh, that's adorable. Wow. 
Uh, and some, he'll he'll just narrate his playing, like even when he's playing alone in the other room. I'll just hear him like talking as if he's talking to a chat room full of people. Sure. Aww. That's really funny. Well, that's that's what you do. So yeah. You know. <laughs> Gotta be watch, like what he watches. That's like his favorite thing to watch is game streaming these days. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I never understood that. I mean, it's the same. It's the same way your generation would watch football. You know. You know what I mean, Pop? Yeah. It's it's the same. It's the same thing. Basically. Yeah. I mean, or, it's or it's a lot better than Paw Patrol. So whatever. He can watch game streaming. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I feel like I feel like that's what I hear from a lot of parents right now. People who have kids are like, fucking Paw Patrol. That's all I goddamn ever hear in my fucking house. It's, it's the worst. It's the worst thing. It is the malort of <laughs> children's cartoons. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm a little out of touch. It's it's like what is it? It's like dogs who are firefighters or it's something? Dogs who can talk for some reason. Right. In, in a town with a population of like six or seven people for some there's like no one lives there except the mayor and like four people and they're like the fire department and police and construction and everything they do all of the services basically uh for this kid who for some reason is like tony stark and can just build whatever random technology <laughs> is needed at a moment's notice it makes no sense sure the world the world building doesn't exist uh, it's just nonsense, but wow. my kids love it. It's so garbage. It still exists. It's like in season seven or eight now, I think. I don't even know. It's, it's weird. Yeah. So yeah. he can watch as many game streamers as he Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> as long as the uh, language is not foul. There, there is that. There are some yeah. that oh, we try yeah. to avoid. I have but seen there, there's enough of them that are kid-friendly enough. They're like, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Sure. But if you know, if I want to follow language, I just watch the rat gut review. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. I haven't got them hooked on whiskey tube yet. That that'll be the next step. Right. That's the next. That's the next step. Uh, hey, whiskey den is in the chat. Everybody, go subscribe to my whiskey den right this second. Open another right, tab. Leave great. this stream. Whatever you got to do, go subscribe. I'm dead serious. Do it. Um, and Mike Cook has our very first super chat of the night. Five dollars to me making a golden dram with Malort. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask one of our moderators to keep track of that number because I'm definitely not gonna be able to. Um, I am I'm already a little tipsy. We had a very busy day. We had a super busy day because it's New Year's Eve at work. So we were we were open till six today. And we had a line out the door wow. the whole day. Um, Crazy. And then, of course, because so afterwards, we obviously had to do a Jaeger bomb. Because. Because. Because it's New Year's <laughs> Eve. And that's what because you do reasons. After a, sure. Brad, goddamn. I, I don't know how that happened. Just, my oh, fingers oh, slipped. Wow. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that translates to in uh, real American money, but like uh, eighty bucks or something. That's like yeah, that's like eighty-five dollars or something, right? Approximately. That's like yeah, eighty, eighty-two, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what yeah. the exchange is exactly, but. All right, so let's let's just say we're at like eighty-nine. It's it's 89. gonna happen. Yeesh. It's gonna happen. Oh, and Steve A says we're fifteen U.S. dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve. Yeah. yeah, but eighty-four now. Okay, thank you, Steve. All right, All right. you're a, you're a good man. I love right. you. Love out. you to death, Brad. I gotta ask you, what are you drinking tonight, and what is it in? Right now, I am drinking Ironclad, a bourbon from uh, Virginia. I think. Wait, wait. This Brad label is Claire? almost impossible to read. It's like black on black. Yeah. Brad LeClaire is drinking a bourbon? I am. Because I, I just got this. It's not accessible in Ontario typically. Uh, but I got it through some uh, creative uh, company <laughs> called Whiskey Quarterly Ontario. Okay, uh, nice. It basically deals with the LCBO to try to bring in interesting things that they don't want. Oh. And so I figured I would 
try it. And it's it's pretty interesting. It's got a nice funk to it. It's weirdly barnyardy, which I am enjoying. <laughs> uh, Gary White, thank you so much. That's very generous of you. And Robert Rees. Okay. All right. There I guess I'm making it now. I guess I'm making it now. That's nice. that's what's happening, I guess. Oh, and, and I'm drinking it in a weird metal cup. I think it's called a noser. It's like N-O-S apostrophe is that, R. Is, is that copper in the inside? Uh, no, it's like a uh, tool grade aluminum or something, I think. Oh, okay, I don't cool. know what exactly, but it I'm hasn't sure. affected any of the whiskey that I've tried in it so far. It's been great. So Awesome. And um, I can't accidentally drop it and smash it. Smash it. Yeah, it's right. Funny. Which but none of us have it, done. <laughs> it gets handy after I've already been drinking for several I, hours. I've learned the hard way that if you put your pinky underneath the bottom, you can't possibly drop it. Uh, a, yeah, <laughs> and, it, and also it seems fancier. Kind of. Yeah, I like yeah. it. <laughs> uh, well, I, 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 I was like, oh, everything like that for some reason. Them. I don't know why. Yeah, well, you drop a few and yeah, you put your pinky under. You can't do that anymore. True. So instead, you throw it. <laughs> All right, let's let's break out the malort. Oh, right. Will, thank you, Will, putting putting us over the top, my man, my man, Will. Thank you, Mister Henderson. Love you to death. Um, and uh, yes, Robert Rees, but Robert Rees was the one who actually put us over there, the top with the Malort. So uh, go Ramaglet, Mr. Rees, thank you so much. Okay, all so right. with, with all this money, you're going to go out and buy more Malort? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, which, which brings up a good question. What are we going to do this coming year? That is a good question. So... I've been thinking about that a little bit. I I'm thinking we really need we really should get some more scripted content. People really love like those uh, the how to how to pretend videos. Oh yeah, those are. I want to do some more of that. People have been asking for some more of those. Yeah. So I was thinking we should do some more of that. Um, I also like. I don't know. I was thinking more more like whiskey culture related stuff that seems to be the big thing like oh, right too, people, sure yeah. yeah people people are very interested in more stuff about like the culture around whiskey maybe even more so than just reviews right now at least that seems to be the way it's going i don't know well, if that's true you could review it and give the culture at the same time yeah so i don't know and we are definitely going to have some more wacky live streams we're definitely going to have well I don't want to give away our big secret pop. Oh, I don't want to give it away yet. Oh, that one, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to like. There's we've well, got we, something. We've got something in the works, but I don't right. want to give it away yet. That's true. Like we gotta wait. We gotta wait at least until the new year, a week or so in. Okay, that's cool. Fair enough. We gotta wait. No. Yep. Gotta let. We gotta. We gotta make sure. We don't want to. We don't want our. Uh, uh, count our chickens before they hatch you know right right but we do have something special coming we do have something very very special planned that's very I'm, exciting i'm very excited about it so <laughs> having things planned is a new idea for me i don't, I don't <laughs> yeah yeah the off the cuff stuff works pretty well for you but i like the idea of doing some cultural stuff too right like and I, I feel like that's kind of Kind of where whiskey tube is going right now is that it's becoming less about just straight reviews and talking about like a single whiskey at a time and more talking about types of whiskey and broader cultural stuff like there's always going to be a place for individual reviews but it's also it's getting to the point that like people are realizing you know not every review really is going to be reflective of my tastes or match up to what I want to taste. And so it's kind of neat to, you know, it's kind of neat to learn more about the broader culture. At least that seems to be the way it's going. Sure, how do you pretend you have a special event? No, we, we do. Wow. I don't want to confirm. Getting called out. We haven't, don't, we haven't don't actually got, like, you. we haven't exchanged the money for the bottle yet, okay? Don't, That's don't all. let them bait you into releasing the secret. It's fine. We got to... Once we have, once we've exchanged the money for the particular bottle we're talking about and have it in our possession, 
I went, well, I happen to have it in my possession. You have it. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you have it in your possession, but we need to actually like hand over the money. Right. And then we will announce what the event is. I promise. I promise. So one word a week. Yeah. We have one word a week. <laughs> That would be fun. that would be a fun puzzle, just like finger and credit playing somewhere in one of your videos each week. It's like a, a single word that is out of bourbon. Place. That <laughs> yeah, right. It is a bourbon. We can we can reveal oh, that. There it's we a, go. Yeah, that's it true. It is a bourbon. It's a it's an older bourbon. Ooh. So we'll 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 reveal that right yeah, now. Sweet. Can can we say how old or should we wait? Oh, I mean, if you I see how know. old, it's going to narrow it down if it's a bourbon. There's not that many. <laughs> if we reveal, yeah, if we reveal how old, it's probably going to give away the game. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. But let's just Glenn say. Zane says, who the hell is Tom? It's a good point. I think I just <laughs> learned Tom's name like on this stream. Wow. Tom is Ed's father, the yeah. old man, T O M. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was there when Eddie started this, which yeah, well, was quite this the was drunken debacle. Like, this was originally you and you and me were were the first. We were the original rotten duo, right? And then Erica, Erica was the Erica wasn't like an officially on screen presence. She was just there for shooting, and eventually, like, oh yeah, she was. So chicken initially. I don't know. Oh, I know. She was so nervous to come on screen. <laughs> and now, yeah. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so it was funny because like when COVID hit, we kind of you and me stopped shooting videos together. All right. Because we were nervous about we uh, shot a lot with Erica before, you know, COVID hit, which is, yeah, we were shooting with Erica beforehand. And then once COVID hit, that was it kind of dropped out. And then, uh, so this is kind of a return to form, if anything. Also, uh, the Malort oh. golden dram. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> well, how it's could it be been good? Predicted. Who could have right, thought? Right. Well, you, you nailed it. <laughs> this is ter like it's terrible, but it's not terrible all the way through. The first, the first little bit's okay, and then you, it when it finishes, it's like just pure bitter. It's so just it's like a trick. Like, oh, yeah. this is not gonna be exactly. So oh my god! Wow. Uh, hey, Donald Rance is in. Good to see you, buddy. Donald Rance. Yeah. I gotta say though, I am to his point. I am much more hopeful about next year than I have been previous New Year's. Just because, like, this past year was so fucking shite. Sure. Next year it can like I'm not. I don't want to jinx it and say it. Can't. <laughs> yeah. It can't I'm, possibly be worse. I mean, probably it gonna be all uphill from here. Clearly, There's no <laughs> yeah, you know, my good. liver could give out, and I'm not on the show anymore. <laughs> I would suck. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yikes. I'm good. I'm good. That sugar cube helps a lot. Okay. But real quick, worst whiskey of the year that each of you have each of you has had. Go. Of the year. Yeah. This what is the rocket review. We gotta talk about that. I have in the first two months of this year. <laughs> Before all the world closed and I didn't get access to new whiskeys. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I haven't had a whole lot because, you know, I don't go out to the liquor barn as much as I used to. Yeah, that's and fair. I've been drinking the old stock. I My stock has definitely slowly dwindled over the last uh, nine or ten months. Yeah. Yeah. Mine it's, is quickly it is dwindled. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad that we can't even come up with a bad whiskey because of COVID. I mean, not a new one. I could, I could come up with a bad whiskey that I had to have. I had <laughs> Canadian Mist a few weeks ago on stream. <laughs> people were jackass. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, like, had, that's not new. Like, I'd had that yeah, before. Okay. I had some Crown the other day that was not all that great. Yeah, it usually isn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I found it and I was like, hey, 
This is new. I'll do it. Wait, which I crown? The people love the crown peach though that came out. Oh, yeah, yeah, people yeah. people love that shit. What's what? Um, which crown was it, Bob? Um, I don't even remember. I'd have to go grab it. Did you? Is it the new one? Is it the rye? No, no, no. It's the it's the one that's been around here for a while. Oh, okay. Because I've been looking at that sixteen year old rye and wondering if that might actually be pretty decent. Yeah, don't know. Um, actually, that's a good question for the chat. What's the worst whiskey you've had this year, or the best? You can tell us both. Um. 22-year-old Kirkland was really bad, huh? Interesting. I, I've generally liked the Kirkland stuff I had so far. I haven't had any of the Kirkland stuff. They they can't sell <laughs> liquor here. Uh, oh, right. I hear, good. I, I hear a lot of good things about the Kirkland brand, whatever. I don't know where they're getting their whiskey. Why can't they sell it up in Canada? Has civilization not got there yet? Uh, it's just all government run. Oh, okay. so Costco can't sell anything, so Kirkland doesn't really a thing. Yeah. Uh, James Britcher, yeah, no, that IPA, was it the Yahara Bay IPA? That shit was nasty. Any IPA whiskey is bad. That shit was terrible. I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure Patty gave me that shit at Distill America, and it was fucking terrible. <laughs> I've heard oh. bad things about it. I haven't had a chance to try it. Um, T Square is saying SMWS one twelve fifty five, which is Ink Murin. I haven't really gotten to try a lot of Ink Murin. Yeah. I'm sure it's good, though. SMWS stuff is usually at least interesting, though. Right, for sure. Oh, and uh, PBR whiskey. Ooh. Yeah. Sure. I still have mine. It's it's stuck away. <laughs> Should be thrown away. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that was aged for like at least five minutes or whatever. Right? Oh yeah, through and done. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> run through a barrel that was just spinning. So it's slowly just spinning. Yeah. No, it literally was. It literally was. They. It was five seconds. They. They took a barrel. They Dipped cut it. a hole in the bottom and they put a pipe from like wherever they were pouring the distillate and a pipe at the bottom. And it literally took five seconds to get from one pipe to the other. And so they can put aged five seconds <laughs> on the bottle. Sure. Yeah. It's it's not great. <laughs> Whiskey rules are weird sometimes, you know? Yeah. That was something we were talking about the other day um, with uh, rye whiskey in the United States. I think it was something me and Steve A were talking about um, on like a day drinking stream, which if you guys haven't seen my day drinking streams, come check them out. But uh, we were talking about how bourbon can't have flavoring in it, even if it's not straight bourbon. But straight rye can't have flavoring, but regular ass rye, you can put as much flavoring and coloring in it as you want. It's a really, really weird rule that the TTB came up with where they're like, like, like for whatever reason, bourbon, if you put flavoring in it, changes the definition. But if you put flavoring in rye, it's still fucking rye. Right. You know, like, I just feel like the TTB is just throwing darts at a board and coming up with rules. Yeah, that makes absolutely like a no lot sense. of places set their whiskey rules that way. I mean, here you can have what is nine point whatever percent of any basically anything you want and still. Oh, it. right. Yeah. And it's like a really weird. It's like to five decimal places or something like nine point one three <laughs> one. Like what? Are, it's a really weird amount. Of anything, of it's any like kind of flavoring or other spirits or wow. whatever you want, basically, it's very strange. Yeah, and if it just looks like it might have been near a rye plant at some point, you could call it a rye. 
<laughs> they waved a sprig of rye at it. It's very weird. Um, James Britcher, we're going to fight. You and me. Wow. We're fighting now. <laughs> well, you're, you're about a foot and a half taller than him, so that'd be interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. I... I keep going back to this thinking it's the Kill Homan one. <laughs> and then it's not. That's not great. That's not a good expectation. <laughs> James Rich, you're right. I am a fucking hipster. You're not wrong. <laughs> All right. James is going to get his ass kicked by a hipster, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, we've actually had. Wait. Oh, well, there we go. Steve A, 9.09%. 9 <laughs> exactly yeah, one eleventh. I was like, why? Well, because because back in the day, the U.S. said if you include one eleventh of our distilled fruit uh, uh, spirit in your whiskey, you can get a tax exemption. Uh -huh. So, so like... Probably for damn taxes. Like, we... The U.S. government had was worried because Florida was making way too many oranges and they were like, all right, make those into like orange wine. And then like any whiskey that includes that in their production process can call themselves, can get a tax break. All right. So, so some lobbyist. The American government is what you're yeah. saying. It's generally, generally <laughs> if something's fucked up with whiskey, it's either the <laughs> SWA or the American government. <laughs> <laughs> so some lobbyist for the Florida orange growers decided to go to Washington and say, you got to include 11% so I can sell oranges. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Pretty much. Wow. Yeah. Who knew? Well, you know. He did. He did. Um, <laughs> that's politics. That's all money driven. That is true. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move into my Christmas gift here. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rare breed. Nice. Emily Chambers. I, I love this color. Florida, I mean, look I at that. This. Thank you, Emily. Florida. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm curious how that's opened up, Pop. It's, it's much the same. It's a little more odiferous. Uh, I guess I'm finishing off my flaming heart. And oh, <laughs> all right. Know, but it's empty now. Well, cheers to that. Um, Donald Rance is asking if I, if I tell him more XO. No, I haven't. But he thinks it's on the terrible scale with the West Cork rum cask. Yes. Don, I love you, but we are going to have this fight a million times <laughs> over. I like the West Cork rum cask. I do. I do. It's weird and funky, but I like it. I like it. I don't think I've had the rum cask. It is... <sighs> I wonder if I still have some. I know it, I've had that one. It's pretty good. It's good, but it's good in a really fucked up way. <laughs> like it's fucking like it's it doesn't taste like a whiskey should taste. It right. tastes like some fucked up weird rum. Okay. But I like it. I still <laughs> like it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. rum can be good. That might still be. Good. <laughs> there are other beverages that are uh, okay. They're acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Um, James Bridger is saying at least the SWA and American Gov has standards, unlike Japan. Oh, so Japan yeah. has become the even more hipster whiskey than rye. That's kind of true. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Pretty much ship anything to Japan and get it bottled, and then, hey, it's Japanese whiskey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, like, as much as I hate on the uh, Stupid Wankers Association... I do have to say, at least they are keeping things rather tight. 
You know, they keep things within a realm of respectability. Sure. Like, they're a bunch of jagoffs, but they at least do that. <laughs> They have a real definition of single malt, unlike the U.S. So, yeah, yeah, that is true. <laughs> have you noticed? Okay, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Every single American single malt says single malt on one line and whiskey on the other. Right? Yeah. Because it's a term of art. They don't have to actually define it as anything as long as they don't put single malt next to the word whiskey. It's considered a marketing term. Yep. Yeah, it's very good, weird. Good to know. Who knew that again? <laughs> Super yeah. weird. No, but J Japan is Japan is kind of fucking things up. It's true. Uh, also, what is in the martini glass? These are a couple of uh, golden drams. So that is this is the Kilhoman golden dram made with Kilhoman and Rutterer. This is a Malort. Golden Dram. It's terrible. It's really disgusting, but I'm going to finish it because people paid me to drink it. And it's urine colored, so it's got the trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> Bourbon Bites just says what? <laughs> I mean, it's a fair question. Uh, about single malt or about the urine colored bullshit <laughs> I'm drinking? <laughs> right. Yes. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah, so single malt on one line, whiskey on another. Single malt is a, a defined by the TTB as a term of art used to sell a whiskey, right? It, it only describes the fact that there is malt in the whiskey as sold by a single distillery. There is no legal protection over it. Like that, like it, it sounds like that should be a legal thing, right? It sounds like you oh, should like have sure, to yeah. subscribe, like you should have to do that. Except it's not. It's not, there is no rule of law behind it whatsoever. It is literally a marketing term. It's like putting rare on the bottle or something. It doesn't, yeah. It doesn't oh, mean okay, it. sure. Yeah. Uh, which kill Homan? This is the uh, bourbon cask. This is the single cask bourbon. So this was a uh, Buffalo Trace cask. So, which I really love, Kill Homan, the bourbon casks because they uh, ship them wet. Actually, they ship them intact rather than splitting them up into hogsheads or whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, the things I didn't know and will soon forget. <laughs> <laughs> we all learn tonight. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Edward, I am not in a band, sadly. I am tr very slowly trying to learn how to play the guitar, though. Yeah. Good for you. Very slowly. I didn't pick it up till 40, so. So you so like, I have two. I have two years. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you're two years ahead of me. Hmm. Oh, every time, every time I think this is going to be good. There's no way. Yeah. I take a sip and I think it's going to be good, and then it hits the back of my throat, and I just feel like puking. Not great. Not great. I feel bad now because <sighs> I helped pay for that. Oh yeah, extra aged. That's another one. Sure. Or uh, very wait, yeah, very fine. Yeah, even Classic. small, even small batch though. Even small batch doesn't yeah, mean shit. Doesn't mean anything. Handcrafted. Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yes. Um. It's oh, be. that would be a good. That would actually be a really good video. We should we should do that. Separating real whiskey facts from from non real ones. Sure. Yeah. That could take a month. <laughs> oh, Christina actually brings up a good, a fun idea. Learn things while drinking alcohol. See yeah. how long you can remember them. <laughs> I think that all depends on age. And then <laughs> so, you get drunk and you see if you remember it then because you're, the same neurons will start firing, right? So yeah. Well, different set of ooh, memories. That'd be a test. That'd be interesting. Patrick Starkey with smooth... Smooth is good. We all know old Thompson likes to likes to bring that one up. 
Sure. Superior. Uh, very rare. Handcrafted. Oh, yeah. that's one that so, shows up a lot. That's what Brad, Brad was saying, yeah. yeah. Uh, premium. <laughs> premium. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that. Sure. Nope. Yep. That's not a good thing. My I my favorite is uh, Maker's Mark saying like it's hand dipped by real hands. What is did, what does that mean? Do you mean there are hand there's there's hand dipping with with like fake hands with robots? I mean, there's, there's probably an automated system that you could use, like, yeah. But instead, they use free people. human labor from their right, tours. exactly. <laughs> hey, dip some <laughs> bottles, yeah. <laughs> Like, it's cheaper than robots, like so why not? Yeah. <laughs> James, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's an automated system that most. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. People would use like this. Oh, you could easily do that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So technically, that means something. <laughs> it's, it's an accurate but description because you, they're you using know, human labor. But saying hand dipped by real hands is yes, that's not redundant. Kind of is. You would yeah. think it would be, but yeah. it's not, I guess. Well, down in the South, uh, anything goes, <laughs> especially with the English language. Sorry, yeah. you Southerners. <laughs> <laughs> I was down there for a year, and I came back with such bad English habits. <laughs> it's just horrible. You don't know, actually, um, people who speak American Sign Language complain that Southerners tend to slur their signs. <laughs> Like, like it's, it's, there is a, there's definitely a cultural like tendency towards lazy going kind of so built in. Yeah. Wow. Lazy yeah. signing. Who, who would have thought? <laughs> uh, but yeah, Eric, Eric Parnum agree. <laughs> It's a draw. It's a draw. That I love. I love. I love the yeah. southern accent. In fact, my favorite accent, I think, is uh, like New Orleans, Mississippi Gulf area. Sure. Where yeah. you can't understand the word "boiled" to save your life. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bald. Bald. You, want them, you want them shrimp? Bald. <laughs> Bald or live. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. But okay, I have finished the Malort Golden Dram. It is good gone. Job. Excellent. I don't plan to drink another one. Fair. Yeah. That's a good call. <laughs> Gary White says, "Bless your heart," which, <laughs> if I remember correctly, means "fuck you" in Southern. Right. It 100 does. You know, Eddie, that ought to be a New Year's resolution. No more Malort. Just, you know, out oh, the window. No. Oh. oh, no. No, no, no. If anything, it means more Malort. <laughs> Why? See, see the, the, the business person in me just says, like, Malort, but the price goes up. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it, fair. Every time it happens, the price goes up. Oh, yeah. It's like a little bit of death. Eventually, you're going to drink enough, it'll kill you. <laughs> or or you drink enough that you grow an immunity to it. Well, well sure. yeah. Yeah. And then like, the price uh, keeps like going hemlock. up, but it's just all profit. Then then you care. can call yourself a Chicagoan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I there was a we have an Illinois person who works with us at the store, and I was like, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but I called her a Southerner the other day. Ooh. And I was like, oh, you Southerners are, you know, you're weird about that shit. And Illinois. I was like, I was like, I'm from Illinois. And I was like, yeah, a fucking Southerner. <laughs> well, it, it's amazing. When you hit the tip of Illinois at the bottom, it's the South. Oh, it's the South. Oh, it yeah. absolutely is. Pretty and, much. Like, once you get outside of Chicagoland, you get a bunch of like real Dixie shit going on. <laughs> uh, I can't I can't promise that, Emily. I can't. I'm sorry. There's a good chance it's gonna happen again. It is a dangerous combo. Ugh. Although I did have several eggnog and moonshines today. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Fun. Sure. Yeah. 
But they have, at least it sort of goes together, unlike the weird concoction. Yeah, why is it? Is it the cinnamon, people. the nutmeg? You know, what? what is it about eggs and milk and, you know, you, you pour whiskey into it and it's good? Mm -hmm. Not yeah, sure. Yeah, it's good, though. It's yeah. tasty. It's a weird It was combo. very, very sweet, though, because it was maple moonshine. Oh, sweet maple. Yeah. All right. James Britcher, I'm going to have to disagree because I have definitely heard one of my teachers was told, don't trust them Yankees when he moved from Southern Illinois to Milwaukee. He was, that was some Southern shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Southern to me. It's all Southern. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sitting up there on the top of the world. No, what? Right quick. Right quick is a Wisconsinism. I think. Right quick is good. Yeah. I can accept a good right quick. Like right quick? You go yeah. you go and go down to store day right quick? Or straight away. Yeah. Or Ana. Oh. You gonna come, go down to store day, Ana? <laughs> come down by me once there, Ana. <laughs> come down there by me once, Ana. <laughs> or or my favorite, my favorite, like Milwaukee German grammar is like throw me down the stairs there something hey throw me down the stairs some toilet paper hey sure yeah we got a lot of that in Eastern Canada too oh okay yeah, Newfoundland and that Eastern Canada you go up a piece you turn the corner around and you go another distance and <laughs> <laughs> just down the road you know yeah like. 12 or 15 hours. <laughs> Just down with you have made that drive. It's it's beautiful, but it's long. Um, I think AJ Lopez is drunk. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> I love those characters in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yep. Crazy. Um, all right. So... What, what is, do we have a, do we have a favorite 2020 how, like memory? I don't, I don't know. Does anybody have a favorite 2020 memory and do you have a least favorite 2020 memory? I mean, there I was that one time where I left the house for a couple of hours. <laughs> that was good. And uh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that's the least favorite is probably going to be pretty easy for oh, everyone. Yeah. Well, Eddie got COVID. Yeah, that oh, doesn't I seem did. like a lot of fun. No. Yeah, yeah that, that, that was bad. We were all concerned. That did suck a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was saying to I was saying to Erica though, like I fucking survived COVID this year. It can't get worse than that. But you didn't get the T-shirt. I didn't get the teacher. <laughs> no. There's I mean, hey, someone is making, making those shirts. Just, so, you, someone has created that shirt. You could Oh, I'm it. sure. Yeah. Or you yeah. could just design your own. I'm or sure. But someone is making money. Yeah, it's probably shirts. pretty funny too, but yeah, Oh, it's, it's an old ass meme from a bootleg Chinese shirt. Okay, got it. Ah. <laughs> that makes more sense now. Oh, Robert Reese met his girlfriend this year. Yay. That's nice. That's awesome, dude. Uh, Christina got married. Oh, wow. To to a, a inky black void. Yeah, it's true. That's awesome. Oh, Adriana defended her PhD. That's so oh, cool. That, that's actually super cool. That's wow. really exciting. <laughs> These people Aww. are making me feel bad about uh, myself. Dr. I've Rodriguez. done nothing. <laughs> uh, Nick Promen drinking whiskey. That's that's not a bad yeah. There's never. A, I'll tell you, having a lot of whiskey in the closet has helped. Oh yeah. For the last six months. <laughs> um. T squared, good memory. April twenty twenty, discovered scotch. Oh, nice. And he's drink and drank over two hundred whiskeys since then. God damn, T squared. And that was just last week. Busy. Doing <laughs> some work in. Cohen's just sad about not being able to get spring bank twelve twelve uh, cast drink. Sure. That's fair. That is fair. That's totally fair. 
I haven't had the, the 2020. Oh, shit. Still in Canada filling our first two barrels. That's actually. That's awesome. That's really awesome, dude. Wow. Good, good work, man. That's awesome. That is. My most annoying thing is I couldn't get any eggnog from Still in Canada this year. Because <laughs> mm. that's my favorite thing ever. Yeah. Me and Erica were supposed to take a trip up there this year in July to come, oh. come get some of their moonshine, and we weren't able to. And what were we supposed really to do good. this summer, Eddie? We were we were supposed to go rough camping in Scotland. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I had a two-week road trip planned all across the U.S. on my way to the Whiskey Vault for their you know yearly thing that, of course, everything was canceled. So. Yeah. Right. So that's got to be the worst. Yeah. Or one. Um, yeah, I know. I would have. There's a lot of shit that didn't happen this year, and it sucks. Yeah. But we made it through. We made it through. That's the important thing. All right. The highlight for me Christmas. Eddie, Erica, Eileen all made it over. Yeah. So that, was, that was sweet. That was the first time we've all been together in oh. like I, almost, almost, almost a year. Yeah. Almost a year. That was, yeah, this year has been really fucked up. And excuse me if I get emotional for a second, but not being able to go over and see Ma and see Isle and all that shit has been really fucking tough. Like worrying about spreading the disease and all that shit. And then having it, that was fucking, I don't know, it wasn't that freaky for me. But like I think I think it was freaky for everyone else because I was dead to the world. I was oh, yeah. fucking sleeping was 16 hours a day. Everybody else had to deal with that shit. Wake up, Eddie. Eat. <laughs> yeah. Has Erica told you the story where she came in and was like, Eddie, you've been sleeping for 16 hours. Could you please eat something? And I was just and, like And then go back to bed. <laughs> and I was just like, no, fuck you. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Horrible. it was it was really rough. It was a rough fucking time. It was. And it's like it, as much as I try to keep it light and like, you know, just fuck around on this channel. This year was really fucking scary for a minute. Right. Like when I had to go into hospital and deal with that shit and where I was worried that they were going to put me on a ventilator. I was a little I was a little freaked out. Understandably. I yes. and it was I went in the hospital on the on the day of Erica's birthday too. Ooh. Oh wow. Did that piss her off? Uh <laughs> she was actually very okay with it. Okay. Yeah, she's yeah. pretty cool. But it was it was pretty fucked up. Like it was pretty fucked up. And I remember calling Ma and telling her, like, yeah, I'm going in the fucking hospital for this shit. Um that was not that was not great. That was not a good phone call to make. So No. Yeah. I'm I'm glad I'm glad we, we got out of it is the main point. Sure. Yeah. So what, I don't know. what are I don't what know. are our expectations for yeah. the new year? Everybody gets vaccinated, we go back to normal, whatever normal was. What's the first thing we're gonna do? Brad. I'm gonna go to Patty's. Is oh, okay. Doing. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, we, we haven't filmed down there in forever. I'm probably just going to do the road trip that I had planned oh, already. Even better. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you in Austin. Yeah. I would love to way. go back down Thank to Austin you. this year. That would be amazing. That would be great. Yeah, it's been yeah. too long. <laughs> Mark is now teasing me about his eggnog in the chat. It was fantastic, <laughs> apparently. You, if he still has some left, if he leaves it on the doorstep, I mean, it's only like a six hour drive or whatever. I could do that. AJ Lopez, she is, she is not the colonial oppressor, but uh, I appreciate your comment anyway. <laughs> Harsh. Um, yeah. No, this year has been tough, but I'm glad we got through it. Oh, good on you, man. That's awesome. Oh, nice. Oh, that's one of us. Yeah. I but yeah, for... I, 
Go ahead. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to my main thing is once we go, I'll get vaccinated and we can go out again. I'm excited for whiskey clubs that operate in Milwaukee to be working again because we haven't been able to meet in a long time and it's kind of sucked. Um, like I've seen members at the store because they come in to buy whiskey, but we haven't been able to sit down and actually drink together. So that's what I'm looking for for looking forward to for 2021. As long as we get to keep curbside pickup and stuff like that, that's that's been great for my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's been pretty cool for sure. Yeah, Carl everywhere delivers or does curbside pickup or whatever. You know, it's, yeah, yeah. It's a, it, silver wait, linings, etc. It's quick, but it dehumanizes the whole thing. It's just yeah, humans are the problem anyway. Right. <laughs> I disagree. Well, here's the thing. Here's my thing. Like, as someone who has to sell you the booze, I I operate on a buy your shit and get out policy right now. Fair. Just, like, I, I, as much as I like talking to people about whiskey, just get your shit and get the fuck out. Because I I don't need you. Are you, are you that busy? We are. We are. We've got, a, like, most days we've got a line out the door. And we, we keep the capacity to twelve, so it's like if you're sit if you're standing here talking to me about some shit, that's somebody else who has to wait out in the cold. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. So, so once we get back to normal, then they can talk to you, life will be good, they'll learn something, you'll have that human experience. Oh yeah. And and uh, don't get me wrong. I like talking to people. There's been a lot of people at the store who, you know, are learning about whiskey. My favorite thing, though, is actually when somebody comes in and they're just super excited about rye. <laughs> like, like there are just there are just so few people who want to talk about like really good rye these days. Everybody wants to talk about bourbon. Oh, so, like yeah. every time someone comes in and was like, I want to talk about high end rye, I'm like, yes, fuck yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Do you have a little stash of Oreos? You're like, here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Trust, trust me I, on this. It's, it's weird. Just, just trust me. Just have have you tried it? it? I have tried it. It's, I mean, it works. It's yeah, weird. isn't that amazing? I'm yeah. not even super into rye, but like it, it works out. It's, it's a good. perfect pairing, and I don't know why. Eddie and, I, Eddie and I were talking about this the other day. You know, what would you pair stuff with? You know, and we couldn't figure out a whole lot of stuff that you would pair food with whiskeys. But Oreos for, and rye for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Hickory smoked beef jerky with like peated scotch. That's, That's good. probably a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. Everybody in the chat is. Ripping apart rye. All of <laughs> As you they should. All of no. you go fuck yourselves. Oh, all right. I'll be the, I'll be the devil's advocate right here. now. Can go eat a bag of donkey dicks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we must be over the five minute limit. <laughs> oh god. No, I love you all. I love you all. You're great, but uh, rye is still the best. Uh, I don't know about that, but there are, there are some good rice. There's I'll, good rice. There's good scotches. There's good bourbons. You know, sure, I'm not. Yeah. yeah, bourbons is like the last one I would go to, but probably me too. Yeah, yeah. there are definitely exceptions that will have. I mean, this this what a, ironclad is pretty tasty, but it's weird for a bourbon. It's got some weird barnyard things going on. Sure. All right. It looks like we are coming down to the end of our time. The we wire. have like 30 seconds before before Bourbon Bites is on. So oh boy. What? Real quick. Happy New Year's messages to the fans. Who wants to go first? Uh, uh, Brad, what do you want to say? Uh, Happy New Year. Don't watch Cask Strength. We're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go next. Happy New Year, everybody. It's great you've been aboard. Thanks for watching, and watch Cast Strength. They're the best. Damn yeah. it. No. <laughs> Don't ruin it for me. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. We love you all, 
And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay, stay rotten. rotten. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should do a pull of chicken cock real quick. Just to finish yeah. out the you gotta, you well, get that chicken chicken cock. Cock. I'm going to do a maker's. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>